What is up guys and welcome to day five of the Deadman Mode tournament. Now I didn't have a video yesterday, but there is a very good reason for that. Take a look at my stats. We have triple 96s, we've trained up our range to 88. We still have the 94 mage and the piety obviously. And look at our gear now. We have Azuriel staff. We're starting to get arms. We don't have the top yet, unfortunately, which is another reason I didn't go PKing yesterday. Because all the other PKers have arms, and if I didn't have it, I'd be at a disadvantage and a lot easier to kill, because I can't exactly get the freeze as easier to escape. We have our full Barrows tank switch, which is very nice. And we're still rocking the Stadius Warhammer. No luck on the VLS yet. And we do have Morrigan's Javelins, because we do have higher range, which will, you know, make it a little nicer, and it can have some very nice specs for us. So, because we didn't have a video yesterday, I'm actually going to have two PKing videos today. The one right now, and I'll upload another one within the next 12 hours, so make sure you're tuned in for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's get right into the PKing. Leave a like if you do enjoy. Let's freeze them. There we go. PK or just tell you done. He's going for another bolt. He's probably going to pray melee there. Nice. Oh, why am I on accurate or whatever? That's awkward. Go for another bolt. Let's go for a freeze. Status Warhammer spec, dead. 28 only, damn. Put that on. So yeah, I found this PKer Scald and he literally had nowhere to go and I was I was putting him to work. Like I was I was fairly sure I was gonna kill him. The ogres didn't even aggro on me, so if he ran there, I still would've been able to go on him. But unfortunately, I splashed two freezes. Somehow he got me and an ogre aggroed on him and he managed to get the box and the X log somehow. Dude, this guy is so low HP. What the fuck? Catch a freeze? Oh my god, what the hell is he doing? He j oh my god, dude, he had no food on him. What the hell? Let's pick it all up. He literally had no food on him. So yeah, I don't know what was up with that. But, uh, got all of his stuff, got his key. And we got 158k D skim and a black D headset, so that's very nice. It's level 87, just teleport into birth I'm just gonna slaughter him real quick, see what he's got. So let's move here. Grats. Going for another freeze. I think he's going to the Warriors Guild to be fair, so he might have a D skim hidden away there. Cause he's running west, so he's going to the Warriors Guild for something. But now he's going east. Interesting. There we go. He's also eating sharks. Dead to the 46. What did he have though? Uh, just 2k coins. I'm just going to take his key in case he was going to the Warriors Guild. Bowls. Interesting. Now, I saw a lot of comments in my recent videos from people who I'm going to assume are new to a DMM and haven't really played it before on why I was only attacking people who aren't PKers and why I wasn't showing any fights with PKers. Now, the first reason is everybody who I kill is feeding someone in some team and I'm resetting them by killing them and slowing their progress down. Another reason is most of the other PKers, they just count banks and it's very, like if I fight them away from the bank, all they have to do is freeze Telly to escape. So example, I tell him to cast wars, this guy immediately attacks me. I red bar him for his DFS and everything, but right after that, we're into a bank fight and it's completely pointless and unnecessary. Let's check these two keys. The first one was off that guy with the D skim and no food. The second guy was just naked. First guy, 62 D bones, 60 K cash, two stamina's, that's really nice. This guy had 7k cash himself, to be fair, but that first key was really nice, plus the loot was really nice. It's very hard to find people right now, uh, so we're just going to try and attack whoever we see, to be honest. He just said, I. Warhammer spec dead, please? I had a 14, man. I need a VLS, honestly, I do need a VLS. I think Barrage is our best DPS here, his mage must be low as fuck. Let's go for another one. So, he did? Another zero? That was so hard playing the guessing game. Oh, he's dead. What defender was he on? Was he on Ruin there? Okay, that's good then, because he was getting somewhere. And we've taken him out. What is this guy's mage level? The barrages are KOing him. Let's go for another barrage. Oh my. I have my Carol's top on for that one as well. Okay, I think he's out here. Good fight. I'm sorry I have to execute you, man. But, uh, yeah, you're getting a defender. And we'll take your runes game and your key and stuff. Let's freeze this guy. We're already 30 minutes scald and he has a rune full. <laughs> oh my god, he's just been two hit. He's literally just been two hit. Oh my god, look how much shit he had as well. Let's pick that all up. Um, He had an inventory full of dark crabs and I just two hit him. 57 VLS. That's the same thing we hit on that PK at Cost Wars. Except this one got the kill. Okay, we caught it finally. Let's go for a bolt. 
Oh, I, I have my chaps down. I forgot about those. Warhammer spec. Nice. It's going for another one. Dead. 45. Jesus, this death must be like 2. 42 for the whack KO. Holy heck. Who just destro destroyed that guy? And we'll pick up his rune full home and his black DI and stuff like that. And his fourth key. That's when the status Warhammer effect actually comes in when they don't- Oh, he did have Bruce. And he did have a super restorer, so he could have restored his death. I guess he just didn't do it in time. And, uh, he paid the ultimate price for it. Good fight. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill this guy because of all the zombies. I just need one status Warhammer spec, probably. Actually, let's try it. Let's go for one bolt. Let's try running past a zombie and killing him. 52 for the KO. We could do it. Fifth kill. Fifth key. Uh, Bruin crossbow still- Dragon- Oh, at Diamond Vault, still. Not- not a bad kill at all. And, um, those Diamond Vaults will come in handy, and the Rune crossbows are still going for quite a bit of money. And 200 Broad Vaults as well, I'm not gonna complain at all, actually. Wonder if he's AFK. 54? Oh my god, I actually could've just fucking one-hit Sears. Holy shit. Literally could've one-hit him. Or two hit him. Not one hit. But, uh... Jesus Christ. Alright, we've got five keys in our inventory. Let's check them out. I'm not expecting anything good, but I will be surprised. Okay, starting off with 10k cash. Not bad. We have some decent keys. 200k and another 200k. This one has 16 bloods. 40 sharks, 7k cash, 100 nets, 40 crown ones. That's a good key. 14 dark crabs as well. This one's not that bad either. Death runes, nature runes. 33k, Ranars, this isn't bad either, it's a lot of supplies, kills are pretty decent, and I'm just resetting everyone I can. Oh my god, he might even die to that barrage, dude. Fuck, he's completely out of food. CBA. So this PK who was flaming me loads on my scout actually attacked me when I had no spec and I just finished trying to kill some guy. And uh, we started fighting and he ran straight to the bank because I was destroying him pretty hard and obviously I didn't want to backfight him. But we could have potentially killed him if we stayed a little bit longer because I was absolutely destroying him. Back him. 25. Let's just whack him one more time. One more time. Let's go for another. Did he just outplay me? Oh no, he didn't. Neither of us went down. What the hell? Whack him. Why is it not working there? He's going for another spec. 28. Can we get a ball off before he goes down? We cannot. But what the fuck? Bolt him there? Or he gets out? Oh, he didn't come down. Interesting. Let's use the javelins here. Bolt him in a second. Let's get ready to go down. One more bolt, nice. He's like fucking 10 HP, dude. Is he dead there? Still got food. Let's throw another javelin at him. Let's throw another one. Oh, that's a big one. He's dead. Good fight. Good fight, mister. You're doing barrows. You're helping with other teams. And I'm just going to take you out. Getting kills with barrows is really hard, but I think he already killed this guy, so uh, he couldn't really do much. Okay, I'm telling, I'm telling the graves right now. Are you east? Como te va? Exhort. Que paso? They're running multi now. Don't follow into multi. Actually, try. Yo, fuck it. I'm flying in, honestly. I'm flying in. Oh, we killed one. Kill single the multi. I'm single the multi. We didn't kill him yet, but we will. Dude, fucking log in. Log in. Okay, we killed one, but. 
Okay, so my friends were just fucking around sculling at Chaos Altar, and they had like a 10-man team come rush them to multi, so they ran into graves. And I tallied up real quick, and I hopped on this guy who seems to not have a lot of food, and he had he was risking loads. He had dragon plate legs, he had glory, he had a D skim, he had like black. You can just see it in the loot pile there. And his team was all waiting into multi, so I was very sketched out to loot it. I didn't even bring my looting bag. I was just teleporting up quick to save my friends. There you can see I right clicked on the guy with mage to the southeast running off thinking I didn't see him. So I knew if I went into multi they'd be ready to get me. So I went in I just started spam clicking the pile try and get as much loot as I could possible. And l luckily I got out when I did because like about 20 seconds later they actually rushed in and tried to get me. But I was already in single. Managed to get out with four keys, dragon plate legs, dragon scimitar, a rune kite shield, a rune full home, addy arrows, 1k broad bolts and 300 nats. So very big loot even though I didn't get everything. Optic ratio. I think he's doing questing right now. 110 combat or optico ratio. We definitely have to take him out. Even if he's not questing, he's 110 combat. He's doing something on DMM. And he has no food while he's doing it. So we're going to just pop him like that. And he's out the game. And uh, what was he having him? 300 death. Was he doing. Uh, I have no idea what he's doing, but he had 300 death runes, 100 chaos. Definitely worth. And he had a bunch of prayer pots and DDS as well. Could be a good, good key. Who knows? Anyway, that loot is very nice. 300 death runes helps out a ton with buying barrage runes anyway. That's just got 97 strength while waiting out those keys and tag of the skull. Five keys, let's check out what they are. Not too uh, hopeful, but I'll take what I get. Uh, 760k key from the second guy. First one is 10 prayer pots, 4 sharks, 36 nines, that's 7k, that's not bad at all. 129k, some decent stuff. This is just supplies. This guy pretty much had nothing. 760k? 27 prayer pots, 8 sand fuse, 10 super stores, snapdragons, holy shit, that is just loads and loads of pots. That is an amazing key. I think that's the guy I killed in multi as well with his team who gave me like D plate legs and stuff like that. I'm getting actually some really good kills. Alright guys, that's just the first part of their day 5 PKing adventure. There will be another video within the next 12 hours of our next day 5 PKing adventure. So make sure you're subscribed, like the video, comment down below what you thought, and I will see you guys later.